Using the methodology template, let's begin by acquiring the data files. When acquiring data, there are three parts to the process. Identification. This is where you will identify all the data sources needed for your analysis. Acquisition. This is where you will begin bringing in those data sources onto the BRE. Logistics. This is where you examine the data for accuracy and completeness. Once you're ready, you will use acquisition nodes to grab your data. Acquisition nodes can be found in the acquisition category of the library. While there are a number of nodes you can use, I'm going to use specific nodes based on the data files I have. One way to acquire data is to add the appropriate node to the graph canvas and locate the file I need. I'm going to start with the BRD file node. This node reads and processes a saved business rules data or BRD file that was generated by the execution of a graph. To edit nodes, all you have to do is double click on the node. The first step to editing this node is to locate the file I need. What this does is tell the node where the data is located and what file to use. It is recommended to enter a descriptive name for the node. This helps in producing a visual self-documenting graph. Now I click OK. Before I run this node, notice that I placed it in the primary box. The primary data is data that is essential for the analytic process. Without this data, the analysis cannot be performed. The secondary data will provide extra supplementary information, which may aid or enhance the process. The reference data are data sources that have no value as far as the analytic process goes, but provide field translations which may enhance the results when viewed in a report. As I acquire more data, I will add them to the appropriate sections based on what they are used for. Now, let's run the node. I do this by clicking the green play icon I can also press F5 on my keyboard as a shortcut to run the node. If I look at the BRD viewer, I see all of my agreement charges records. Now I'm going to add a delimited file node. The delimited file node reads and converts a delimited file given a designated source of field and record delimiters. As with the BRD file node, the first thing I do is locate the file I need. For this node, I also need to enter a field and record delimiter. The field delimiter is the character sequence used to separate fields in the file to be converted. For example, use slash t as the field delimiter for a file whose fields are separated by tabs. If the fields are separated by commas, enter the comma character. For this file, I will use the slash t. The record delimiter is the character sequence used to separate records in the file to be converted. For example, use slash r slash n or slash n as the record delimiter for a text file in which each line contains a single record. For this file, I will use the slash n. Now I name my node and run it. If I look at the BRD viewer, I see all my agreements data records. Next, I'm going to add a directory list node. The directory list node reads a specified directory and produces a list of files within that directory that meet the specified criteria. What I need to do is enter the specified directory and criteria. For the directory name, I want to enter the file location. I can do that by copying the folder location from my computer. Then I paste it into the directory name field. For the pattern, I want to enter the name of the files. For this, I can copy the common name for the four account payment files I have. Then I paste it into the pattern field. I use an asterisk to tell the application to pick up all files with the beginning name extension. And then I specify the file extension, in this case, CSV. Now I name my node. and run it. If I look at the BRD viewer, it tells me the name of the files that match my criteria. However, I still need to grab the data within the files. Since the files are all CSV, I'm going to add the CSV file node. Notice that the directory list node is highlighted. Once I double click the CSV file node, 
it auto joins the two nodes together. The CSV file node reads and converts a comma delimited file for input. Instead of locating a file, I'm going to enter file name in the file name expression field. This was the name of the field in the directory file a BRD viewer. Then I name my node and run it. If I look at the BRD viewer, I see that all the data from the four files have combined into one data set. Another way of acquiring data is by dragging the files from my Windows folder onto the BRE. This works with the desktop version of LAE. The application will auto-select the appropriate node based on the file type. In this case, an Excel file node. The Excel file node reads and converts a single or multiple sheet Microsoft Excel file for input. Since I don't have to locate the file, all I have to do is name the node. And run it. If I look at the BRD viewer, I see all of my customer account data records. The last acquisition node I'm going to add is the fixed format file node. First, I'm going to move this Excel file node out of the way. Now I add my fixed format file node. The fixed format file node reads and converts a specified fixed width file with no header. As with the other nodes, I start with the file location. When using this format, I'll need to enter the field positions. This is the specification for all the fields. Field specifications are separated by a colon, or a new line, or both. Let's take a look at the file. I see a letter code and a description. For this, I'm going to call those fields payment code and payment type. When entering the field positions, the typical format is field name, comma, starting location, comma, field length. Let's start with the payment code. If I look at my document, I see that the payment code starts at the zero position, right there at the beginning. When counting an LAE, you want to make sure to start with zero and not one. So following the format, I start with the field name and my starting position of zero. Now, what about the length of the field? Let's count it out. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You always want to make sure you count the blanks. So now I enter my length of eight characters. Let's do this again for the payment type. Looking at the document, the payment type starts at that eighth character, right when the payment code length ended. I enter my field name and my starting position. Now let's find out the length. Starting at zero and counting the blanks, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So now I enter my length of 24 and then name the node. Now I run it. If I look at the BRD viewer, I see my payment code and payment type fields. And now I'm done acquiring my data.